guys, it's you again. Hi, um, uh, today I found an avocado that Miss Mina was using for his sandwich, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it because I love avocados. I, I, you guys ever had guacamole? It's so good. <laughs> Mr. Quackers. Oh, oh, hide, hide. She's coming. She's coming. Mr. Quackers. Hey. Um, I was gonna make you a sandwich. Did you want one? Um, uh, yeah, I would love a sandwich. Hey, Mr. Quackers, how come my avocado is over there? Um, oh, look, Miss Mina and her friends. Oh, hi, friends. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome to a wonderful Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing great over in your little houses and your little spaces, having a good time with your family and enjoying distance learning as best you can. I know it's a little tough, like, focusing on a screen, but I'm sure you guys are getting through it. How are we doing, Mr. Quackus? Uh, we, we're doing pretty good. Um, I, I really want that sandwich, though. We can have a sandwich afterwards. Can we hang with our friends? Yeah, yeah, okay, you're right. So, did you guys know that tomorrow is Earth Day? Oh my gosh, Earth Day. Oh, geez, how do we celebrate Earth Day if we're inside? Uh, I, I got an idea. We can, we can go for a walk and stuff. That's right, we can go for a walk. So, today this will be our indoor video, and then tomorrow we're gonna film outside and We'll make sure that we have our mask on, our gloves. I'll make sure Mr. Quackos has a mask. I, I, I need one too because I'm a cute little duckling and I don't, I don't want to get sicky either. You're right. I don't want you to get sick either. So, I hope you guys are ready. We're going to do our usual warm up. I've got a story for us. I've got some movement for us. And then we're going to end with a nice cooling earth meditation. Are you guys ready? I, I'm ready. I'm ready to move and groove. Me too, Mr. Quackos. All right. <laughs> Let's go, reach, good, and reach. 
creatures that live in nature that use you know trees and rocks and rivers and other landscapes as their um as their homes you know kind of like we have home homes but they have nature as their home oh um um can you guys can you guys name uh, uh an animal that lives into into with us what what, what 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 lives into with us i i can i can i tell them can i tell them one you can tell them one tell them one um, um, you guys, you guys know salmon? Did the fishes go, pew, pew? They're so, they're so funny because they flop out of the water. Oh, yeah, salmon do live in rivers. What else? Hmm, what kind of animal lives on a mountain? Oh, I know this one, I know this one. Um, um, a billy goat. Oh, you're right, billy goats do live on mountains and they have big hoofs so they can cling on to the rocks in really steep conditions, right? Yeah, yeah, and then, and then, the, um, um, and then, I don't know another one. Maybe a big cat. Maybe a big cat. Maybe like a mountain lion might be on a, on a mountain because um, it's in its name. <laughs> what about what's an animal that lives in a tree? Do we know that one? Um, a birdies, birdies, birdies. My cousins, the birdies. They live there, like the Orioles and the Wavens and um, hummingbirds and bluebirds and and blue all all the birds, Mr. Quackers. I know. Yeah, and um, I think squirrels do too. I think squirrels live in, in, in a tree too. Hmm, I wonder. It seems like a lot of animals live in a tree, right? Yeah, this, that's why trees are very important. Um, that Not only do they give us air so that we can go breathing, like, <gasps> ah, ah, but also um, all, the, all the people, you know, all the people, animals, they live there. So, oh, that's right, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of animals do live there. I mean, trees are super important for so many reasons, right? Yeah, yeah. And especially for the breathing, like the <gasps> Mr. Quackers, we gotta read this story, you ready? Oh, I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, so this is one of my personal books that I found in my library. It is The Bear Stain Bears, Home Sweet Tree. You've got Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Brother Bear, and Sister Bear, and a squirrel. He probably lives there too. Home Sweet Tree by Stan and Jan Berenstein. They're saying hey. So this used to be my book, so there goes my signature from when I was younger. I used to go by Yazzie. Um, and little stamps that I left around my book. Jeez, what was I doing with this book? Hello, friends. This way, please, just ahead, just past these trees is our home sweet, our home sweet tree. Home sweet, home sweet, home sweet tree. It's like they're taking us on a tour. It's pretty cool. Our tree stands tall, fine, fat, and round. Its roots dig deep into the ground. 
Come on in, up we go. There's a lot for us to show. Look, look, over there. You know him, it's Papa Bear snoozing in his easy chair. Papa always takes a snore while looking at the TV news. Do you guys have a big chair in your living room too? We do. Look, look, in there. You know her? It's Mama Bear. <gasps> mm, our mom's a super cookie maker, a chocolate chip cookie baker. Ooh, show me connection if you love chocolate chip cookies. I don't really like chocolate chip cookies. I like snickerdoodles. Yum, yum, let's have some. Join us, friends. Come and we will eat cookies in our home sweet tree. They were pretty good though. Come, come, come with me. There's more to see in our home sweet tree. How many cookies would you have? I'd probably have like, if I had snickerdoodles in front of me, I'd probably have like five. But how many? Like ten? You guys? Would you guys have ten? Mr. Quackers, how many would you have? Oh, I would have. I would have like. I would have fifty cookies. Mr. Quackers, fifty cookies? Silly. Come and look. Look if you dare. The cellar of our homes down there. The light we shine will show the way and chase the spooky dark away. This is the place where we store what we don't need anymore. It's kind of silly. You guys have a, a basement like storage place too? I've never been in mine. <gasps> we don't really use it. It's just storage. Toys and things that we've outgrown. Cradle, crib, baby's bib, bottles, blocks, toy, telephone. So what kind of stuff do they get rid of in this picture, guys? Looks like a lot of baby stuff, right? And maybe like stuff that they don't use, like this lamp, maybe it's broken, maybe the shelf just isn't working anymore. Why keep these things that we store, things we don't need anymore? Well, Mama says, you don't know when, you just might need these things again. Hmm. That's something that's very smart, you know? Sometimes we keep things because we may not need them now, but we might need them later. But there is much, much more to see. Come on, friends, and follow me all the way to the top of our tree, our home sweet, home sweet, home sweet tree. This is such a cool house, isn't it? To the special room I share with my brother, Brother Bear. My things are here. My brother's things are over there. What kind of things do, do they have? Let's see. I see a telescope. I see some weights. I see an airplane. Oh, roller skates. <gasps> Show me connection if you can roller skate. I love roller skating. Um, oh, there's a guitar. I see a beach ball. Beach balls are fun. Oh, it's a mini piano too. Oh, got a sewing machine. They've got a lot in this room, right? I like the telescope or the kaleidoscope. My closet's neat, I must confess. My brother's closet is a mess. Oh my gosh, look at what's pouring out of this closet. It's a robot, got a beach ball, another beach ball, a teddy bear. All right, how many of you guys have a messy closet? Just like a little bit. Just a little bit. You've seen our home inside and out. Home is what we're all about. Goodbye, friends. Please come again. But will you also tell us when? When we can see your home sweet tree. Home sweet, home sweet, home sweet tree. How'd you like that story, Mr. Quackers? That was, that was a very good story. Um, I, liked the, I liked the part when they were eating the cookies. Oh, of course you like the cookie part. I wonder... Since tomorrow is Earth Day, we gotta be really careful about how we're gonna celebrate, right? Yeah, you're right. Um, when we're at home, we, we can do Earth activities and stuff, like we can make the, um, the hands of the Earth. Oh, I like that. What else can we do? Um, 
we can collect some leaves and do do a leaf collage and and we can we can glue stuff together oh and we can paint rocks too i want to paint rocks oh maybe we'll paint rocks tomorrow that'll be fun i i, I think that's a great idea I think those are great ideas that you guys can also do if you're outside and you want to celebrate Earth Day, you just want to have fun and do something creative. There's so many activities that we can do using the Earth in a very responsible and respectful way, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. <laughs> Who's the crackers? All right, so for our next portion of today, we are going to share some really cool facts with you about the Earth. And I don't know if you guys knew, but Mr. Quackers is kind of a scientist. Well, well, but you guys are scientists too, because everybody's a scientist. Because if you have a question and you want to know about something, then that means you're, you're a scientist. Very good. That's a very nice thing to say about being a scientist. I think you're right. So, I think that the Earth, we know a lot of things about the Earth, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, do, do you guys know how old the Earth is? It is 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 a long time. It's a very very long time, like longer than hundreds. How how old do you think the Earth is? Um, five hundred. Five hundred, Mr. Quackers. <laughs> I'm joking. The the Earth is four point five billion years old. They're so old. They're so so old. Nothing nothing is that that alive anymore. They're so old. You're right. That's a really long time for the Earth to exist, right? Yeah. And um, I, I remember when we had a science lesson with Ms. Mensa and the rockfish, we learned that um, the Earth has only um, um, had life on it for, for like 10, 10 billion years. Oh, wow. So that means that like, whoa. Wait, that means that we've only, whoa. We've only been on this Earth for so long, even as organisms. Yeah, you're white, you're white. I wonder, hmm, can we tell them another fun fact? Oh, I know, I know. Um, did you guys know that the Earth has a powerful magnetic field? It's very powerful, like a magnet. Like um, Miss Mina's Xbox controller, if, if it was a magnet, we would go like this. You guys, you guys saw that? You saw that? You know, you know how you have a magnet? Do you guys have magnets at home? You don't have magnets here. But when you, when you have a magnet, you, um, it repels and retracts. So if this side was the repelling, it would go like, Vroom! and then if it was the retract side, like if this side was the retract, it would go like, Vroom! and so um, the, the earth has a positive mag magnetic field. So it goes, whoa, whoa. and that's, that's because there's a lot of iron inside of the middle of the earth. Iron. Did you guys know that there's lots of iron? It's a, it's a nickel iron core. And and then because the earth is like that that um it helps it helps with the with the magnetic field and it, it, it protects us from all the solar solar wind and stuff. Whoa. I didn't know you knew all that, Mr. Quackers. Yeah, I did. I did know the things. I, I studied lots of other things. And did you guys know? Can you can you guys all look at your feet? What's wrong with my feet? Nothing. But think about think about if there were crystals all underneath your feet, like that game you like to play. Um, what game? The game with the crystals. Oh, you're talking about Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. I um, you know how you guys go digging into into earth for for minerals and gems and crystals and stuff. You can do the same thing. Um, like there's a crystal cave in Mexico where there's so many natural there's crystals everywhere. And they're so shiny. They're so pretty. I like crystals. Me too. Did you know I have a crystal on my hand? Oh yeah. This one. This one's a moon. A moon. Uh, a moon crystal. Do you guys see? No, Miss Mina has moon. Moon crystals on her fingers. That's so cool. It makes me think of the moon. Me too. Um. Let's see. Let's think of one more cool fact. Uh, do you have one, Mr. Quackers? Yeah, I do. I do. One more. The last one. Did you guys know? that there's an underwater field. It's really called a meadow, but I'm calling it a field because it's easier to say. It's a field, you know, there's grass and there's trees and stuff and you run around from side to side and you play into water. There's a field and it's underwater. Wait, that doesn't make sense. How is a field underwater? It's, it's like a cave and then inside the cave is the water and the, and the trees and the leaves and all the grass and things. Oh, that's so cool. Where is it? Um, it's in the it's in the place where they make the hummus. Mr. Quackers, you can't say that. Uh, no, it's the Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Remember that time we made hummus and it was the Mediterranean hum. Oh, that's right. Met the Mediterranean area. Wow. 
What's it called? It's called it's called a Poseidonia. Um, like the like the guy to put the like the Poseidon, like Poseidonia. Um, that's that's what it's called, and it's so cool because it's all underwater. That is really cool. Oh my gosh, there's so many cool things about the Earth that we don't know, huh? There is, and there's so much we don't know about, you know, the inside of the water and the ocean, and inside of the ocean we go around and around. That's, that, we don't do that either. I think I have my idea, Mr. Quackers. You ready? I, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. What if we go on, a, on like, an imaginary exploration throughout the Earth? Could we do that? I think it's a great idea. Let's, let's go. Let's go to a magical, um, let's do it. Um, um, where do you want to go first? Well, can we go to the jungle? We can totally go to the jungle, right? Yeah, let's go to the jungle, let's go to the jungle. All right, let's do it. So, I want you guys to pretend with us that you are in the rainforest, the, the, the Amazon rainforest. We're inside of the jungle, all right? We're gonna start all the way over here, and I hope you guys can act with us. to another world. What if we go to another place? Where can we go? Uh, I know, I know. Can we go all the way to um, um, a volcano? Mr. Quackers, I'm not going to a volcano. Let's think of somewhere else. Mm, could we pretend that we're in an ocean or like swimming with the fishies? <gasps> yeah, that's, that's a good one. Let's go, let's go. I want to swim with the fishies. I want to find Nemo. All right, let's see. All right, so just like last time, we're gonna step off. Whoa, Whoa. I think I see a jellyfish over there. Whoa, I think there's a whale all the way over there. It looks so tiny. Do you know how to speak whale, Mr. Quackles? Um, you say, oh, you gotta talk really slow, like, how are you? Oh, no, I saw a shark. Did it see us? No, I don't think it saw us. Okay. Whoa. This is so cool. I think I see a starfish down there. Where can we go? Where can we go, Mr. Quackers? Um, can we can we go to um can we go to the, the, the forest with um with our, our, our friends, the, the squirrels and the other friends? Yeah, let's go. To the forest. Oh, can we eat it? You can't eat all the mushrooms you see, Mr. 
crackers. Wow. These trees are really, really tall. You see how tall that tree is? That's really, really tall. It's like a building. It is like a building. I see a squirrel. Hey, squirrel. Oh, uh-oh. Hi, there's a bear. There's a bear. Bears are really big. Wow. The air smells so nice and fresh out here. Wow. Oh, was that a wolf? Ha <laughs> ha, that was joking. That was just me. Mr. Crackers, you're trying to trick me. Ooh, look at all the leaves just flying in the wind. And, oh, look, it's an ant and a beetle. There's so many bugs just in the dirt, just playing around. Oh, I saw a rabbit. Did you guys see the rabbit? Be really quiet. It's deer. How many do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight deer. You see eight deer. Oh my gosh, it's a family. That's so cool. Wow. Man, those were cool adventures, right, Mr. Crackers? Yeah, those were really cool adventures. I, I really like um, going, going to um, the forest. We saw a deer. We did see deer. Oh my gosh. I've never seen that many deer before in my life. Have you guys seen deer like that? Oh, that's a lot of fun. Remember that when you're at home, you guys can always transform your space and you can totally imagine a scene in a rainforest or in the snow and like the Arctic gold or climbing a mountain. You guys can build your own mountains. I used to do that at home with like tons of pillows and me and my brother would like climb up a huge mountain. I hope you guys find really cool ways to celebrate Earth Day tomorrow. Miss Crackers, did we celebrate Earth Day today? We did, we did. And we're gonna celebrate more tomorrow when we go outside and we got we're gonna wear masks and be really safe and, and we're gonna we're gonna be out exploring. You're right. We're gonna be out exploring and enjoying the earth, right? So for our calm down, I hope you guys find a nice space to just relax in. And we're gonna do a nice cool down. We're gonna put on some forest sounds. How does that sound, Mr. Quackus? Forest sounds is good. All right, so. Oh no, it's a YouTube commercial. We gotta wait for the YouTube commercial. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna just relax and meditate quickly. Mr. Quackus is gonna sit here and meditate with me. All right. Close your eyes. Take in a nice breath. Hold it. Let it out. I want you to breathe in. Breathe out. We're gonna do something silly. I want you to take your finger and just press on one nostril. You're gonna breathe in and breathe out, let it go. We're gonna do it to the other side, ready? Breathe in, let go, breathe out. Good. I want you to imagine that your feet are the roots of a tree. They are digging into the dirt, feeling the worms, feeling the soft, wet coldness of the dirt. Feel how it tingles between your toes. And feel that your legs stomach, your chest, they are all the trunk of the tree. They are the tallest part of the tree, holding the 
strength up. Imagine yourself tall and your head is reaching up to the sun. Getting sunlight, water. Your fingers are like the branches of the tree. Wait, wait.